Hey guys, what's up? Alright, well I'm back and I'm just over two weeks out from my competition. Time just flown by. Um, I can't believe I'm saying I'm just over two weeks out, uh, but at the same time, it's, I'm ready for it, so that's a good thing. Um, training's going good, diet's going good. Uh, I did hit a bit of a wall this past week, I'm not going to lie. I uh, just didn't feel like doing anything. Uh, I was really tired, really run down. I'm working two jobs, working on my business from home, doing my, you know, my cardio and my dieting and my lifting. And, you know, it got to a girl. So that night I was supposed to do cardio and instead I just laid down on the couch and took a nap. And I'm so glad that I did because the next day I just felt amazing and I was able to hit it hard again and I've been able to go hard all week. You know, sometimes you do just need to listen to your body. Uh, even when you get this deep into prep, you start thinking, okay, well, I got two weeks left. I really need to do everything to the letter. But at the same time, you know, your body doesn't listen to a list of things that you have to do. It, it just reacts. So sometimes you just really need to turn that list off and just listen to your body. So that's what I did this past week, and that really helped me out a lot. Um, like I said, everything's coming along really good. Uh, the one thing I wanted to go over with you guys today is a few quick tips on tanning. Um, this is probably the biggest thing that I get asked about a lot is how, you know, what company you use for your tan, you know, how do you do it, da 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 I'm not going to go into all the details, but I'm going to tell you a few quick things that have made my life easier. As you can tell, I'm a very, very fair-skinned person. I uh, always have been. I'm a natural blonde. I have um, freckles, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, the minute I step out into the sun, I burn. Um, so I just don't do it anymore. I don't go to tanning beds. A lot of people will tan leading up to a competition. I just don't do that. I've had a few different scares with uh, skin cancer, I think. Thank God, no problems but scares, and that's enough for me. You know, I'm young. I, I don't need to be worrying about that kind of stuff yet, but I am. So, if that's you, stay out of the sun. You don't need to do that in order to prep. Now, what you do need to do is you do need to get your skin prepped. Now, depending on which tanning product you use, the skin prep's going to be just a little bit different. Um, I start my skin prep actually about a month out from my competition because I have very sensitive skin as well. So. Um, I just find it's, it's easier if I just get into the habit of using the washes and using the lotions and things like that that your particular tanning company will recommend. Now, getting to that point, um, I have tried pretty much every stage competition tan out there, and the only one that I use now is Liquid Sunrays. Um, looks like this. Liquid Sunrays gets you really dark, really deep tan. Um, because I am fair skinned, it's very hard for me to get a very deep tan, and this is the only product that does it for me. And actually this year they came out with a mousse, uh, as opposed to their spray, and the mousse is amazing, I'm in love with it. Uh, I just did a test patch on myself, and it is so easy to put on. And no, they're not paying me to do this or anything like that, but just coming from a girl who's had a lot of tanning mishaps on stage, I just want you guys to know what a good product is. Uh, this stuff has saved my life many, many times. So, um, if you're looking for a tanning product to try, I definitely recommend the, the Liquid Sun Rays. Um, now, getting leading up to the show you do need to like i said prep your skin but also there's a few different things you need to do that you might not really think about and one of those things is okay i'm a natural blonde so what that means is if i have little fine baby fuzz hairs all over my body that are blonde when you put on that tan all of a sudden you see those blonde hairs so you need to get rid of them i do not shave my body what i do is i get one of those little uh, electric um eyebrow shavers it's like a little it's almost like a it's a little teeny tiny razor you can buy it for like 10 bucks and i essentially just shave off all the body hair on me on my arms my stomach um, my back everywhere everywhere i got a little peach fuzz it goes because as soon as you put that tan on you really see those little those little bit baby fine hairs especially on a blonde so that's one thing you need to start doing too um you don't have to do that until up until the show you know the week out that kind of thing um just so that you have it gone uh, the other thing that you need to think about too is your clothing when you have your tan on. Now I know a lot of people want to look cute when they're going to check in and they want to look cute when they're, you know, getting ready backstage, that kind of thing. They wear dresses, blah, blah, blah. Great. But you know what? They leave, they leave marks in your tan. Um, 
I've tried all sorts of different pants, all sorts of different tops. The looser, the better. Uh, the softer, the better. The less seams, the better. I, there's been so many times where I've worn, you know, what I thought were loose stretch pants. They had those seams down the side, and all of a sudden, all the tan has rubbed off from those seams. So what I have, I actually have them on. What I bought this this year and what I use now is these right here. They're attractive, right? Got them for like seven dollars at Walmart. Um, they are men's. Hanes sweatpants. Uh, they had the elastic band around the bottom. I just cut that off the bottom of the foot. Um, they're they're larges. They're huge on me. So none of it clings to me at all. So when I'm backstage, it's not going to be rubbing on my tan and getting that tan off. Um, that is a big part of it. You go on stage and you see little spots, you know, lines on the side or whatever where the tan is rubbed off, and it just doesn't look right. So that's another tip that I have for you. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say too is that you probably do want to put tanner on your face. Now a lot of people might say that that's not a right, the right thing to do, um, but what I find is that a lot of times girls will go on stage and their body will be super, super dark and then their face will be white. And this has happened to me before, so I know what I'm talking about because I've done it. <laughs> but no matter how much makeup you put on, no matter how, how dark the foundation, it's going to be a different color if you don't put tanner on your face and you just put it on your body. So do put at least one light coat on there um, on your face to start with. Now the last tip that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you with is that I start my tan about two days out from the show. So my show will be on a Saturday and I will start my tan on Thursday. So what this means is I'll start, I'll put on a first coat on Thursday, I'll sleep in it, Friday morning I'll get up, wash it off, put on another coat, wear it all day, all day Friday, Friday night, wash it off, put on another coat, get up Saturday morning and be ready to go. Now that was for bikini. Now for bikini you want to be a little bit lighter than figure. So for figure, I'm probably going to have to, have to put on a, another coat that Saturday morning. We'll just see how it develops on my body over time. But uh, that's my last tip for you guys. So um, you might want to start your tan a few days out. Just that way you can make it really nice and even. You can, um, you can wash it off if you screw up and you can put more on. Um, oh, I do have one more tip too. When you're going to do a show and they have tanning affiliates, make sure that they are competition tanners and they're not tanners that you get at a normal tanning salon. It's a completely different kind of tan. So that is actually my last tip, okay? So research your competition tanner, make sure that they're going to be using one of those top products. It may not be Liquid Sunrays, it may be Jantana, it may be Pro Tan, uh, Dream Tan, any of those are great. Those are competition tanners. They know what they're doing. So make sure if you're going to do whoever the tanner is at the show, you research them and make sure that they are using the proper tools, the proper product, all that kind of stuff. And if not, go online, get yourself your own tanning product and do it yourself. Practice a uh, week beforehand or whatever, make sure you get it right because that is one of the biggest things that people mess up when they go to compete. And I should know because I've messed it up plenty of times myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking from experience and learn from my mistakes and not your own. So, those are my tips for you guys today. Like I said, I am just over two weeks out. So, you know, they're coming up quick. I don't know if I'll get another video out to you guys before I get on stage or not, but I'll be sure to update you after the competition's over with, for sure. So, I will see you guys later. Bye.